10 hours holiday stream copium. Yeah, that is fucking copium, dude. That might be some of the saddest cope I've seen in my entire- in all my days. In all my days, I've never seen something quite as pathetic. Ugh, fuck. I really needed this coffee. I've had such a busy day today. Holy heck. It's a Christmas miracle. Man, the holidays don't mean nothing to me, man. I'm, I'm Grinch as hell, man. I'm Grinch as hell, but I'll tell you what. They can never know. Everyone around me can never know. They have to believe. They have to believe that I'm really into it all the time. They must, they can never know. I care too much about the enjoyment of everyone else around me. I have to pretend I have Christmas spirit, despite the fact that if they confirmed Santa got shot down by anti-aircraft guns, I'd be like, damn, that's a fucking tragedy. That's a living person that just got shot down. I would likely react pretty reasonably and be like, holy shit, I can't believe they actually got on film the exact moment that a missile, a ballistic missile collided with Santa's sleigh turning him into nothing but red mist. I, I, I truly can't believe it. Nice hit, Kona. We don't do that anymore, chat. Kona's now a wholesome character. You did not get the memo. This holiday season, Kona says, you know, thoughtful, you know, nice things. Supporter. Yeah. Happy holidays, Kona. I love my family. Dude, I played like a... Like a half an hour of Vintage Story after stream yesterday. Like once uh, D&D was done. And um... I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I got 20 copper in literally five minutes of panning for it. And I could have gotten the rest if I felt like it. Dude, panning was made so you could skip the bullshit of scrounging on the surface for eight veins of copper. It was literally made so players could do that, and I just it didn't do it. I don't know why I didn't do it. Like, I even acknowledged that I was getting a lot at one point during one of the streams. It's also literally made so I could, I don't know, not get lost. Because I can't travel like everyone else can in that game. I don't have a map. It was made for me. And I, I, didn't, I, I didn't respect it. This just means next time you play, you finally won't live in squalor. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, I definitely remember where the copper veins that I did find on the surface were for when I need those. I totally remember. I have a silent rule that I will not refer to my own VOD in order to find where things were that I found. I won't do it. So I did mark them. But they're like five foot high blocks. That's all there are. Why? Motherfucker, the pioneers didn't have VODs! The pioneers didn't have fucking VODs, motherfucker. They had nothing but their own ingenuity. They had books. <laughs> the only VOD they had was the Bible. <laughs> the only one they had. Thank God.
The pioneers also didn't have supernatural anomaly storms. You don't know what it was like back then. Were you there? I don't think so. Yes. I'm getting tired of lying around, you know, around these parts. I'm getting tired of people lying. I'm getting tired of people fabricating lies. Okay. There's officially, as of today, all lying is outlawed and punishable by exile. As of, as of today, lying is punishable by exile. I think we should exile more people. We do have a lot of land up north, like beyond Canada, which is labeled as Canadian soil. I'm sure Canada wouldn't mind if we just kind of exile people into the woods up north, into like the fucking tigers and tundras. You know, just send them up there. Do something naughty, exile. It's not even soil. Well, I mean, they're not supposed to have a good time being exiled, motherfucker. Okay, that's not the point. If, if you exiled me to like a lovely fucking farmland, I'd be like, what the fuck? Napoleon moment. Exile them to a lovely island. Australia too. Dude, I'll definitely, I can definitely be honest about one thing. Looking at the shit Australia has on it, that must have been really shitty for the first like, like, prisoners sent there, man. When they finally got there and they were like, oh, it's gonna suck. And then they saw like, Giant like spiders everywhere and shit. I would that would have sucked. I've been like, oh, they actually shipped me off to like what may be the closest thing we have to hell. Hell on earth. Dueling with kangaroos. Dude, they eat those. I even had like the opportunity at like a place that makes like really like, like random kinds of burgers, like of various kinds of meats to have a kangaroo burger. And I was like, I don't want to try that. Although now if someone was like, do you want to try kangaroo? I'd be like, yeah, I guess. Cause people, in Australia are like, yeah, kangaroos are fucking absolutely, like, they're goons. They're fucking goons. And they're out there every day making a mess of everything, and they're fucking everywhere. Where I'd be like, yeah, no, I'd, I'd try a fucking kangaroo burg. I love meat. I wish kangaroos ate meat. What? Why would you wish it? Why would you wish that? Dude, every day of my life, dude, I wish that the dangerous creatures around me that could kill me if they really wanted to also desire to feast upon my flesh. I just wish that they would be a little bit more aggro, you know what I mean? I could take it. I want the kangaroos to be even more huge.
I wish the animals that are jacked could eat meat. I wish that the animals that are jacked also had like, I don't know, thumbs and the ability and knowledge to load and fire guns. It's very specific knowledge in their brain to just load and fire guns. Imagine if gorillas loved human meat specifically. Yeah, that would not be good. That would be really bad, in fact. See, at the very least, we don't have North American gorillas. Like, we have maybe one or two Bigfoots. Aside from that, we don't have any. So... The odds are low that the day will ever come where a gorilla would come for me. You know? And at this point in the game, realistically, if gorillas suddenly were like, and I really want to eat humans now. Well, I mean, we as a species, as humans, have had no issue extincting creatures before for less. Okay, so I don't think it would be very smart for many animals to evolve to eat humans right now. I don't think it would be a good play. We extinct animals by accident. And if all of a sudden a news article came out where it was like, I think gorilla- guys, gorillas really like eating humans now, it seems like. I don't think people would be okay with it. I think that would be it for gorillas. <laughs> Planet of the Apes. <laughs> Dude, almost every chimp and ape actually gives me anxiety. They are such freaky bastards. Like, they're all psychopaths, I swear to God. Like, they're all cool, like, for a minute, and then, like, you'll see a news article that's like, Yeah, uh... Bongo the gorilla fucking, like, while hanging out with a zookeeper, grabbed their arm and seemingly just ripped it right off like it was, uh, like a- like just tearing toilet paper. They just ripped it right off, and then they threw the arm onto the roof, and we couldn't get it. We couldn't get it after- they threw it onto the roof, so we couldn't get the arm back. <laughs> it's like, Bongo, chill! Bongo, chill! You know, I just don't, I don't know. There's kind of a thing where it's like, if a, if a bear does something bad and naughty, you're like, well, that's an animal. But like when a, like, there's like a threshold of like, like somewhat related ancestrally and genetically with like gorillas and chimps where you're like, what the fuck? They are just close enough to being human that it's fucked when they just walk up to someone, grab them by, like, grab them by their skull and just rip their skull and whole body in half. You know, that's, there's something, uh, like, I don't like that. It's just close enough that I'm like, dude, you can't just do that. That's not okay. Cocaine shit. Who would win, bear or gorilla? Are you fucking out of your gourd, man? I don't think gorillas lose to pretty much anything. I don't think gorillas lose, really. I think gorilla would win. Well, you were vague, chat. You were vague. You said gorilla or bear. Bear applies to any bear, including something. There's so many kinds of bear, okay? Whereas Gorilla is kind of a little bit more narrow. And I've seen black bears. Uh, a gorilla would pick up one of them and throw them so hard. They would throw them so hard. Bears are like literally apex. 
Yeah, for where they live. <laughs> Gorillas actually have poor fighting skills. They're, they regularly get bodied by leopards. I, like, don't believe... Like, you can just... I don't believe you. I actually just don't believe you. I don't... I don't think I believe you. That's true, dude! And I definitely don't believe you, even if... Even if chat were to all be like, No! Dude, for real, bro. I still wouldn't believe you. I'm putting my car, I'm putting all my money down on Gorilla. Google says so. Now let's change the setting. Okay. Cage match. Both animals have coaches. In that scenario, Gorilla wins. Because you can coach a girl, you can, you can to some extent help a gorilla along the way, give them guidance. I think a bear doesn't care. I think you can, I think that if you get, if you had time, you could train a gorilla to some extent to use like a tool. Give him like a big, like fucking, give him a, give him some kind of spear. Ignoring circus bears. Yeah, I am ignoring fucking circus bears because circus bear isn't the same fucking thing. You're ignoring circus gorilla. Which I'm sure also existed. Clown gorilla. Clown gorilla. A bear naturally has the instinct for combat. It's a predator. Gorillas don't. Dude, every bear but grizzlies right now are having rough times out there. And if you look up a picture of any one of them, they all look like they're about to cry. Okay, gorillas always look like they're about to snap you in half. All right, that's all I'm saying. They always look like they're about to snap you in half. Every picture of a bear is a bear going like, man, it sucks. Hank the Tank was sad. Don't you fucking bring up Hank the Tank, all right? We're not talking about Hank. Did they kill Hank? They didn't kill Hank. Why would you assume they killed Hank? I just don't want to talk about Hank. Gorillas are so less threatening to me when I found out the chest beats actually sound like popping and not King Kong style. Motherfucker, if the chest beat was the only thing that intimidated you about gorillas, you need to reevaluate what the fuck's going on. All right, because the chest beating at no point was the thing that worries me about being in proximity to a gorilla. Polar bears eat nothing but meat. If they see a human or anything, they walk up to it, kill it, and eat it. Doesn't matter. They, they, they're they sitting there sad. Doesn't matter. Polar bears lost, dude. And you know what? I'd feel bad, but I had I had very little impact in that situation. They're done. Polar bears, are, they're, they're done. They, they, they lost. Climate change L. I don't know what to say. <sighs> polar bears aren't real tomato what if polar bears are just a fabrication what if polar bears were never real at all 
Nothing survives past Maine, past the north of Maine. They don't live up there. Polar bears were made by Coca-Cola <laughs> to sell drinks. I don't buy it, Chad. I just don't buy it, man. I just don't buy it. If the, if polar bears were real, why are they not down here where it's cold right now? Why are they? Why is there not one in the frame of this image? They have legs. Come down here, coward. Is this a horror game? Nah, dude. No. No, 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 no. It's a Christmas game. Is a is a and after that we're gonna play another game. After that we're gonna play another game and then I'm gonna do D and D and then I'm taking the weekend off. I can't believe you're playing Fortnite after this. Dude, I've never played Fortnite. Like the 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 Battle Royale version. I'm way stronger than everyone I know. Yet, I probably won't. Too uh, too strong. Tomato has big gilk in backing his statements. You think that bit you think I'm getting paid by Big Gilk to like say that gorillas will win every fight against every animal on earth? You think you think that's what's happening? You think that's what's fucking happening? Is I'm over here getting I'm getting paid on the side. I mean, are you not? No, chat, no. No. No, I don't. I don't do that. I don't do that. Not without, I, they didn't, they wouldn't, I, they'd have to pay me quite a bit of money. All right. They'd have to pay me quite a bit of money. So you're doing it for free. I ain't doing it for nothing. Because I have been paid nothing! <laughs> the loathsome gilk guzzler. I thought you said liars get exiled. They do. But I ain't lying, and I ain't getting exiled. Dude, I could go for it. God damn it, I'm so hungry. I should have eaten more before I started the stream today. I'm gonna have to like eat in the middle of like fucking D&D. I'm gonna have to actually fucking chow down on some shit right in the middle of D&D. &D. Like an animal. I'm eating chicken nuggets. Katie, at this point, I need to be so genuinely, uh, who asked? All right, I say I'm hungry and you start saying what you're eating. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? You're gonna, you're gonna. <laughs> I, 
I'm sick. I'm dying. I think I have COVID. I'll apologize if you double back and you do. Otherwise, you have a cold. Okay. I'll double. I'll double back and I'll I'll I'll, I'll do a fucking three minute apology if you fucking don't if you actually prove it. <laughs> You'll apologize if I die if if you have it Sedge leave the ass boy alone Thank you. I think yeah, leave me alone. All right. Give me a break. All right. I'm having I got I got stuff going on, too You're going with that I'll take whatever I can get out here. I will take whatever I can get out here. Okay? Whatever I can get. <laughs> I'll take anything. If it garners sympathy among the masses, so be it. I'll even take pity. I will even I will even go on record and say I'll take pity. Yep. Should have eaten before stream. Bozo. Okay. Dude, I had like actual chores I had to do today. Do you know that? You no, know, I had like stuff I have to do today. And then my fucking allergist. Dude, I hate my allergist. Not the specific person, but the place I, like, go to for my allergist. Because I have, like, an appointment every, like, six months to check up on, like, what's going on with me. And they always call me and let me know of the appointment, like, three days beforehand. Even though I scheduled it, like, eight months ago and I have no fucking idea when my allergist appointments are. And they're like, see you Monday. See you Monday at 7 a.m. And I'm sitting there like, no, you aren't. No, you aren't, lady. Like, I don't even remember scheduling it for Monday at 7 a.m. Who scheduled that? No, you fucking aren't. Yeah, right. See you in another seven months. I'll tell you what, my chronic allergies that don't change have continued to not change. As they will likely continue to do forever. And he never went to the allergist again. Dude, it's like, look, it's only like 20 minutes away or like even 10 maybe, but it's like, man, why the hell am I going to crawl my ass out of bed? So I can go to like the freaking allergist. All right. When it's like I have a chronic like thing going on, it's never going to change. We could we could do this over the phone. I don't know why I'm scheduled for an in-office appointment. What else is gonna happen is I'm gonna sit down and they're gonna be like, still itchy? And I'll be like, yeah. And they're gonna be like, you still take the stuff I gave you to take? And I'll be like, yeah. And they'll be like, and does that help? I'll go, same amount it always has. And they'll be like, okay, uh, see you in nine months. Nothing's changing, and if something was meaningfully changing, I would call like my primary care doctor. <laughs> I would be like, I need like you to refer me for this specific thing. I don't need to go back there, but I do need to take my allergy medication. That does remind me. Yep, gotta take my pills. Then why do you? It's like, it's just routine to have like a check-in. Or a checkup. I just wish it was like over the phone. I don't know. Part of me is also like, dude, I had a really fucking rough week last week, like stressed out about like my colonoscopy crap. I don't really want to go back into a doctor's office for a couple weeks if I can help it for anything. To be honest, I just don't really want to. Well. 
Like truly, I was just like, I'm not doing anything with the doctors until like I'm like until the the current situation with me is dealt with. I just don't want to do anything else. You know. But yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Just, uh, I'm gonna tell them that my car blew up. Yep, that's what I'll do. An anonymous gifter gifting you hundred subs to the channel, mother of God. And as a result of it being anonymous, anyone can take credit. I did that. It was me. I did it. Thanks, whoever you are. Thanks, whoever you are, for the gifted subscriptions to the channel. Wow. Wow. It was the gorilla. It was. It was Big Gilk. Of course, they didn't have that much money. Of course, they didn't have that much money. I fucking knew it a mile away. He accidentally hit the zero twice. Yeah, that's always possible. But you know what? Here's the thing about typos when it comes to gifted subs. It's uh, a big pile of not my fucking problem. <laughs> That sounds like a Twitch backend problem someone's got chased down if that ever happens. I have no control over that. I can't like click a button to refund shit. That's a big load and not my fucking problem. Look, if Twitch want wants to take such a huge cut, they get to also handle all the backend work on that. Not my problem. But thanks for the hundred gifted subs, whoever you are. Me. To be clear. I did it. But yeah, as far as I'm concerned, we're gonna play this like horror game, this Christmas themed horror game. And then we're gonna try to, if it's possible, we're gonna, re we're gonna redo that chicken game that I wanted to play and then blue screened on a couple weeks ago. We're going to redo that one because uh, uh, that we we literally got two minutes in and then it crashed my whole computer, and it wasn't the game's fault; it was my computer's fault. Rerun stream a one minute rerun followed by a lot of actual game Okay One minute too long Would you guys prefer no stream? I could enjoy some of my Friday right now Ha 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 Unfortunately, I can't do that because this is a pre-recorded stream. But I'm just goofing around with you. <laughs> but this will be continuing until the full duration of the stream is over because that's what it was recorded for. Pre-recorded? Fuck this. That's a bot chat member that I paid to say that in order to change perception of the pre-recording. I also knew it. Any any chat message I read is a bot. Using an elaborate algorithm I've I've set up to time my responses to fabricated chat members perfectly, just so we can be clear. Don't listen to anything they say. They ain't real. He's one of them AI VTubers. That's right. That's right, brother. That's right. Always have been. Always have been. Elaborate algorithm is a weird name for a script with timestamps. Whatever you say. 
<laughs> Whatever you say. Elaborate algorithm. It's so elaborate, it's taking swings at me. <laughs> Dude, someone just said Calzone's in the chat, though, for real. Oh, fuck, I could go for one of those. Holy shit. A Calzone today of all days? Oh my god. Are like, chat, I never order stuff over like the like Christmas two days of like Christmas Eve and like Christmas, like food. Is like, are restaurants open on like Christmas Eve day? They are, right? People don't really fucking care about that one, right? People don't act like, I don't give a fuck about the holidays really in general. People are open on Christmas Eve, right? Some, cool, okay. Cause like, I don't, I, I, if I owned a restaurant, I'd be like, guys, it's fucking Christmas Eve. No one fucking cares. This is a fake holiday. This one's fake. This one's actually nothing. It's nothing. It's bullshit to celebrate the day before the thing that happens. You know? It's my birthday's Eve, dude. It's my birthday Eve. Corpo mindset. Dude, I'm just saying it how it is. No one fucking cares. <laughs> no one. People shouldn't have to work on Christmas Eve, tomato. Listen here, all right? I'm a consumer, okay? I'm a consumer. I like consuming. And I'll tell you what, okay? I'll tell you what. Me choosing or not choosing to order something on Uber Eats or whatever on Christmas Eve isn't going to suddenly defeat the capitalist machine. It just isn't. It's just not. But if I can enjoy a cool burger in the middle of Christmas Eve, that sounds good. Why is he arguing pots? Because it makes me seem more relatable and or more, it adds more chat engagement. Cool. There's only two versions of streamers. There's the ones that are relatable and validate chat members, okay? And there are the ones that are so obnoxiously stupid and wrong all the time that it infuriates chat members to type in the chat in response to what they're saying. They're the only two extremes that exist in this fucked up world we live in, okay? So which are you? I like to think I'm constantly dancing on the deadly precipice of both. About to tip into either version, but never quite there. Ah, a centrist. Dude, I'm cashing out on both. All the time, cashing out. Hey, Tomato, so how was killing Hecaton a second time? Dude, that fucking boss fight was so easy, dude. <laughs> that boss... That boss... Really, when I said and when I told- when I walked up to Brett, dude, and I was like, you need to give me hard mode, what that really meant was punish everyone in every campaign attached to mine but me. <laughs> really, that's what it meant. God bless him, dude. Punish everyone but me. I haven't watched it yet. Stop. I'm allowed to talk about the campaigns I'm a part of <laughs> in my intro. Thank you very much. I'm not going into detail, but I'm allowed to talk about it.
I am excited for season three, though. That season's exciting to me. We're gonna be... We're gonna be- we're gonna be going places. I talked a little bit with, uh, Lawman and Juniper about, like, a direction I think we wanna go. As, like, a group. I'm gonna bring the whole group into it and talk about it later. Cause, uh... <clears throat> we- we gotta- we gotta figure out, uh, our direction now. So. Very excited. Ganymede? Chat, I think everyone in our group is in agreement that we want to go back to being able to do, like, smaller things and, like, having more time to, like, RP with our group. We don't really want to go straight into, like, another, like, let's chase the bad guy and do, like, main campaign storyline. I don't think any of us want to do that right away. So, no, I don't think that's happening. I think every single one of us is like, let's slow it down. And kind of like, just like, fuck around and do our own shit. I hope you're able to go back to the bow forest. We need to talk about that. I have, I have, and this is not like anywhere, this is not meant to be a complaint about doing side stuff for other characters, or like, the structure of our campaign, but... We are getting space travel and doubling back to go into the forest, and it's like... Dude, we gotta get the fuck. like, are we getting the fuck out of here, or are we doing, like, forest side quests for Bo, who is unable to fabricate full sentences anymore, god bless their soul. I think we need to, like... Structure that a different way or Bo needs to pitch that to us <laughs> as characters better because I am I think it's reaching the point where no one in the group as characters is gonna be like yeah, Bo Let's go get that Bo as Bo's going <laughs> I love Bo as a character, but it's like dude Zug thinks they're fucking dying. There's no fucking way half the group is gonna be like let's and meet, let's drop what we're fucking doing, get out there. You know what I mean? So I'm kind of curious how that'll play out. Ugh. Acting like a complete vegetable doesn't help. I understand what Lane is doing, and I respect it, but you also just have to remember that it's when it's exclusively your character's side plot that we're going to do for a thing, you need to rope in other characters in some way. And that hasn't happened yet, and until that happens, I mean, like, the bomb does not care about going into the woods anymore. Selfish? I'm, look, it's just like... I'm not saying it wouldn't happen, I'm just saying that, like, this- there is a threshold where, like, communication needs to be made. So that it's not just, like, we're doing this out of character, and we're, like, invested only because we as players know that something comes out of it. Like, there needs to be RP. Like, this is a- this is a long-form D&D RP campaign. There needs to be some kind of exchange there. You know? Like, that- that- that needs to- Stop role-playing your character correctly. You are a bozo. You are a bozo, chat member who said that. You are a bozo. Oh, or do you mean... Oh, do you mean you're upset that... We are asking Bo- that I am, like, implying that Bo needs to communicate and therefore augment their RP a little bit. Or are you saying- or are you, um, are you being sarca- If you're being sarcastic, I'm sorry. If you weren't, you're a bozo. You're in a- you're in a- you're in a position of bozo and or not bozo, depending on where you were. I think Lena does a great job with Bo. I think that they are a fucking disgusting creature of death. And I love that. But- even I, at a certain point with the bomb, had to be like, hey... I need to give this guy a little bit more, like, di like ability to communicate, because otherwise they are going to be bricked, essentially, and unable to do things for the entire campaign. And that's why I made them more willing to, like, 
be wordy. And that's why they talked so much in the Tuesday episode. Like, I, I deliberately want the bum to get much better at speaking because that is the direction they'll go. That, that like, that just needs to, like, happen because it's the, it's the only way to build backstory with the other... It's the only way to build a connection with your other party members. And if there's no, if there's no ability to do that, it's just like, you know... No one wants to go to the woods without character investment at this point. We've been starved for character investment like between our party for weeks, I would say, as a result of like finale trajectory. We've had less time to communicate with our group as a party. So it's like we need there needs to be some like fucking in like purpose there behind going to do this side thing. If that makes sense. That's kind of where I'm at. Is that like, I don't want to be like, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, but I'm like, you got to give me like carrot on a stick here. You got to give me something as a character that's going to make the bomb want to help Bo in this. You know? And I think that applies to everything. I think that applies to any character having the same situation. Like, there needs to be carrot on a stick. We helped Felsic with the wrestling thing because the reward was we would make money, and therefore that money would allow us to get the funds we need to fix our ship. There's a motivation beyond helping our character get, like, a thing that's exclusive to them in that we will also be gaining something as a party that furthers all of our goals. You know, there needs to be an application where, like, we are gaining something as well. You know, it doesn't make sense to jump the gun, RP. Yeah, it's like we know that we know the direction, we know where we should go as players. But like, I am, I am a firm believer of it's got to come naturally in RP for me to want to do it at this point. I'm not going to fucking like jump to like, let's go to the fucking bottom of the ocean because we got a letter that says that Drask is going to get a cool thing at the bottom of the ocean. It's got to be something, got to be something in it, I think. That said... I love the direction we've taken Pipe Dreamers as a whole campaign, and I look forward to it every Thursday. I think Brett does a fucking awesome job. This is more of just like an observation because people were asking about the forest thing. I think the more natural things come out, the more fun it is for all the players, and when it's not natural and it's just us going like, oh, we have a, like a like side quest to do we lose the ability to like have fun and enjoy ourselves in RP and instead it feels like we're just ticking boxes on a campaign list, you know? So I think it's just important that we get there naturally. Cause I mean, look at, look at Goblin season three. Look, for instance, look, I would say Goblin Season 3 was the perfect execution of this thing, where we arrived to do one very basic thing, which was meet with, like, a senator of, like, a human community to, like, like be rewarded for a job well done in Season 2, and it just fucking spilled over into some of the dumbest shit instantly, and that became the campaign was, like, the aftermath of us being fucking goons and like we still had the opportunity to do plot stuff but a lot of our motivations in our group was like as a result of our own stupid actions was it fun oh yeah no i loved it i thought season three was my favorite season of goblins i thought like the last quarter or like third was the best part like the cosmo stuff was cool the last third was like truly peak shit Like last Sunday's God Forge. Yeah. That's my favorite stuff. Like that's why I that's why I yes ended that when Joe did that crap to me so hard for people that were there. The reason that I proceeded to PvP my party as a rat for 
literally 50 minutes was because that shit is the most fun stuff you do in D&D to me is that goofy crap like the berry scenes were the standouts of those sessions that they happened in that shit is the shit I like doing in D&D it's not the combat that shit's fun but it's having the chance to do stupid stuff with your party you know rip berry I'm glad he's dead. I'm glad he's dead. Good. Take it back. No, no good. Never! Anyways, I reckon I'm gonna go bathroom and then we're gonna start playing the games because I have no idea how long these games are gonna last. Alright, so I'm gonna be right back and then we're gonna start. Hey, I'm back. Dude, it's like I can't fucking win with you guys. Like, I really- If I take too long, I fell in the toilet. If I go too quickly, I didn't wash my hands after- Like, at all. And, like, I pissed on them or something. Like, I- I really- I literally can't win. I- There's no- There's no window where there's not someone that's, like, mad or disgusted in me. Then don't piss on your hands, piss boy. All right, we're gonna play the game. We're gonna play the game now. This is a Christmas themed game. About, apparently it's got pretty good reviews. I have no I have I have zero opinion of it, however, myself. For I know nothing about it. Christmas Alright guys, buckle up! We're gonna we're gonna get in there. Those lights are going crazy. Well, yeah, they're excited for Christmas. Why did you string up lights on the inside? I don't fucking know. It's likely not even my character's house. New game. That's normal. Well then, I don't know why Percussion said that. And he's foolish. 
Oh my god, look at that. Chat, that's the first time I think in my entire life I've seen real in-game screen tearing before. Holy heck, let's get that. Let's get that V-Sync on, dude. Holy hell. Let's get that V-Sync on. There we go. This is like the blizzard to end all blizzards outside. Uh, by looks of things. Uh, well. Oh. Gotta lock my mouse to the game. <laughs> Take a look around. I can't open any of the doors. Guess I can. Wow, look at this place. What a, what a lovely house. This is a ni this is a nice place. I think the TV's too far away from the bed though, and there's nothing to. I mean, I guess you just sit on these bean bags, which I think are awful. Fucking, I I think bean bags might be the worst things to use, uh, like to like watch TV, especially like having to look up. Uh, probably miserable to do that. Terrible placement. Uh, that's on the ground. You should just get a coat hanger for that. Um. These kinds of candles are the ones that burn people's houses to the ground. Uh, I wouldn't use that if I were you, buddy. I wouldn't use that if I were you. Okay. Pick up the phone. I don't know who Joyce is. I'm, I've been waiting for it to go to voicemail. Okay, fucking fine. Hello? Handsome? What have you been up to while your better half wasn't around? Ah, yes. My, my partner, I see. I, I, now I see. Okay, I have two choices for responses. Hi, Joyce. I finished a lot of paperwork and lo watched a lot of TV shows. I'm an AI-created boyfriend. You know me, Joyce. <laughs> I lived every day to the fullest. <laughs> the perfect man. <laughs> I lived every day. To the so fullest. You have watched The Office again. I watched but The Office. This time with a regular Coke instead of a diet. Let's all fucking slow. Let's cut. Let's chill for a fucking second, Joyce. All right. What the fuck's that supposed to mean? <laughs> what the fuck you just saying to me? What the fuck? What the fuck you just saying to me? Ooh, you're such a risk taker, Mark. I like that in a man. We've My name's Mark. Finish negotiations, so I'll be home sooner than you think. I took a bunch of pics, just like you asked. Let me send you one right now. What do you want to see? My photo in the mountains or from the pool? I forgot to say that hotel had a luxurious swimming pool. Why the fuck? Why the fuck would I want to see a picture of a pool? Send me like a picture of the beautiful mountains. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Send me a picture of the Weather of the beautiful mountains. Amazing. Are you kidding there me? There was almost no wind. It was a perfect time for snowboarding. It's too bad that negotiations took so long. Bad ending already. Wow, she looks miserable in that picture. <laughs> wow, I should have asked for the pool one. She doesn't look like she really enjoyed the mountains very much. I'm worried about you, Mark. I'm pretty much the only person you talk to. It's Christmas Eve, and no one's even congratulated you yet. I uh, is this what we're doing today? You're gonna make me feel bad about how unpopular I am? Uh, well, not exactly. Today I got a letter in the mail. Joyce, don't be so sure. I got a letter. I just haven't read it yet. Joyce, I'm popular. I got a letter in the mail. Did someone write you a personal letter? That's so cool. Open Fake it up girlfriend. It's, it's near the entrance, right? Fake GF. What does she want I me to- I wonder what's inside the envelope. Oh, you want me to open it on the line? You want me to open my mail and read it to you on the phone? Okay. Now? Right now. Okay. <laughs> you keep 
AI girlfriend sure. app. <laughs> Chat, what if it's just a letter from the IRS, dude? What the fuck? I don't want to open this. Only the IRS would send a letter around now, dude. Where the hell's the entrance? You lost the letter, haven't you? I would laugh at you. If I didn't lose my phone around four times a day. How the fuck? You'd you lose your phone four times door. a day? It must be there. Where the hell do I... Man, where the hell do I keep my goddamn letters? I got a lot of mugs. Dude, this is a chaotic fucking cabinet format. Like, yeah, we have... We have, like, 80 mugs in this house. I think it's implicit. And none of them are in, like, the same cabinet. on the drawer or cabinet by the door. I just kind of put them everywhere. We have so many, but we only own five pieces of silverware in the entire house. We only own five pieces of silverware. Turn it. Wait. There's almost like barely not enough room to even open this thing without getting like, geez, you have to really squeeze to close the door. It doesn't matter. This is where I keep my toilet paper right at the door. I'm just kind of taking a look around. I'm just taking a look around here. Dude, do people just have, like... Like, I don't know. That This truly does mean that the only TV this guy has in his whole house is set up at an awkward corner in his bedroom. Like, a really awkward fucking corner. Maybe he lives alone. I mean, it's just like... He has the option to have, like, a better setup. It could even put it right there. I don't know. Purple walls? Yeah, the purple walls kind of piss me the fuck off, too. Oh, it's a letter! Yeah, here it is! Honey, I miss you so much. It's a pity that everything ended so badly. I'm ready to give us another chance. Yes, maybe I did some stupid things before, but I won't do them again. It's a pinky promise, colon, close parentheses. Let's meet and discuss everything, okay? Very Merry Christmas. Ugh. That's not the IRS. That's some huge lips, Jesus Christ! That's a, that's a gigantic, that's a gigantic mouth. Well, who's it from? What did they write? Uh, uh, it's just some papers from the tax office. <laughs> oh, IRS. I hope you don't have any problems with your taxes. I don't want my boyfriend to be locked up before we can meet again. <laughs> By the way, uh, yes. about communication, please go up to your bedroom window. Yeah, no problem. I'll do that in a second. My guy owns a lot of the same deep psychology book and a lot of the same scissors. He loves those fucking scissors. He needs them in. Wait, what? Why does she want me to come see to the anything from the first floor? Go upstairs and look through your bedroom window. What do you fucking mean? Are you- you're not gonna like... Joyce, I'm just gonna get out ahead of this. If you're flickering that fucking light over there and I climb all the way up to the second floor for you to confirm it, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. Alright, I'm gonna be fucking pissed because you know I- No, no, don't fucking- don't I mean, fucking cut me off. Don't fucking cut me off right now. I'm talking right now. I have- you know I have bad ankle. You know I have a bad ankle? You know I have a really bad ankle. And if you make me climb all the way up those stairs, just so you can be like, look, look, I'm in this house. I'm going to get fucking pissed off. You know, I got the gout. Sure, you only recently moved in, but it's time to remember I the swear to God, if that's house, her, dude, I'm going to be pissed. Or is this a hint that you already want to move in with me? How clever of you. All right, Joyce, fucking chill. Fucking chill. <laughs> Second floor means less escapes when the IRS kill team moves in. You think Joyce is a fucking deep fake girlfriend simply created by the IRS to keep me in the same place so I don't bail out of the country? Holy shit, bro. <laughs> Joyce is a deep fake. Well, what do you see? I see a flashing light on that in that window. Oh my god, it is her. Jesus Christ, you gotta be kidding me. I could have done this from the first floor. I see my girlfriend missing with her lights in her house. 
She subtly hints to her obtuse boyfriend that she returned from the out. In this blizzard? Now, on to the second part of my surprise. What did you have a sled? First, and like dogs? Show me your festive mood. In the, the there's like fucking four feet of snow on the road. There's no tires. There's no tire tracks. Wait, how what? What'd she ask me? What'd she ask me? I'm just gonna say how. How? Let me think. Oh. I remember you had some sparklers in your closet. Light them up in front of your window. Yeah, I have some like festive, like small sparklers, like the little sticks. Yeah, I could probably grab those. I got sparklers. Yeah, I'll do that right out my fucking window and inside I'm sorry in my house. I didn't come to your home right away, but I had to prepare something. Yeah, no problem. Let me just grab something so I can burn my fucking house to the ground. Really fucking festive, Joyce. Super duper handheld flare. This is a fucking flare gun. Like, this is a flare. <laughs> All right, bitch. Did you? Here I go. I'm just gonna fucking burn my house down. Closet of your bedroom, and I'll tell. Am I fucking sure about this? There's gonna be like, a, like an actual rescue helicopter's gonna come by, and they're gonna be like, "We saw your fucking, we saw the flare from the, from fucking eighty thousand feet in the sky. We wanted to come down, and make sure you were okay, and we know this blizzard's bad." If you find the sparklers, light one of them up by the bedroom window so I can see it. Okay. Well, I found them. Are there any more? I have, why does my guy have so many flares? My guy has so many flares. I mean, sparklers. I, I, I'm not dead. Here I go. This is there not is. safe! Now I can feel the Christmas spirit. This is I not safe! the second part of the surprise. Do you remember that French wine you wanted to buy? Until you saw the price tag? Yeah. Today, we'll try it out. I also got some fireworks. So, take your sparklers. Fireworks? Over. Let's celebrate Joyce, you together. cannot shoot fireworks okay. in this fucking blizzard. Did you get me something too? The winds are going like 80 miles an hour! <laughs> on Christmas, you're gonna do fireworks on Christmas? A present for you. Sorry, I didn't think we'd be celebrating together. This guy, dude. <laughs> I'm not sure that's the point. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> instant, that's an instant game over. That's like a, oh, don't bother coming over then. Oh, my flare went out. Yeah, sure, I, ha I have to get it from under the tree. Tell me what kind of gift you prepared? No. Okay, now I'm interested. Grab it and come over. I'm waiting. To be fair, she was the in the Alps. Wait, the greater the chance that I'll drink all yeah, but wouldn't you still get myself? a gift for your partner your despite the fact that they were in the Alps and it's just give it to tree, them in it? post? Like, it, just because it's not Christmas anymore doesn't mean you like can't like exchange a gift to someone. I don't know if a lot of people know this, but like, you d it doesn't have to be the 25th of December to exchange a gift with someone. <laughs> I that you have a present. Mark, I won't be upset if you didn't buy one. It's just... Well, I thought it was going to be a special night. Mark, are you fucking Look sure about tree, this, dude? Okay? This girl just had you light a fucking flare in your bedroom. Your carpet's still on fire. Are you fucking sure? Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, the tree! Just put it out! I bought this engagement ring a month ago, but I'm couldn't find the perfect moment for a proposal. Mark. Grab the gift and come over. Because Joyce fucking I'll left for a month to go to the Don't goddamn Alps. It. Can you stop talking? I'm talking. Thank you. Will she say yes? I sure hope she fucking does. I'm putting this box in a box. <laughs> Why is he doing that? If you found the gift, come see me already. All right, babe. Here I come. I'm just gonna have to get across. You the house? It's easy to get lost in this weather. Babe, the light, handsome. you are right on the other side of this. She hung up on me. 
if my guy gets lost crossing the street when the light is on, on the other side, like this is a, this is a like, this is a national emergency blizzard is what I would describe this blizzard. This is some insane snow. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh fuck. Gonna follow the light, Jen! Why is she flickering it? Okay, I'm just gonna go back then. Alright, I'm gonna go back. It got too intense way too quick. I don't have a Alright. Uh we're gonna just the light's the only thing I can see. We're just gonna go towards it then, no problem. It's just it's just like minus 20 outside. Somehow this lone trash bag and can are just out here totally fine. Eh? She left the front door open. Lots of unpaid bills. In uh What the fuck is some of this shit? Hang on. No matter how I look at this paper here, it doesn't come out as words. They're all glued together. So let's see here, we have some uh, bills from, uh, let's see here, uh, what is that, 2012? Yeah, that's gonna have a lot of overdue stuff. Delinquent penalty. Delinquent? Delinquent penalty? Holy shit, well, Joyce has some really fucking crazy bills. These are some old fucking bills. Joyce, where you at? Oh, hell yeah, freaking cookies and milk. Oh, 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 hell yeah, dude. Joyce, I lit another flare. Festive, festive Christmas spirit. Where you at? Joyce? It's honestly, uh... What the fuck? I do not know either of these fucking kids. I know it. I've met Joyce's family dozens of times. I have no idea who this is. I have no idea who that is. That kid on the fucking left looks like he's like actually 80, but still a child. And they've seen like, they've seen true hell. And the other one looks scared of them. That looks like an old baby. Well, Joyce did always have a freaky family. That was one thing I always knew. Time to die. Huh. Yeah, I'll be taking that flare. Time to die. Not sure why she's got so many time to die books. But, uh. Joyce, where the fuck are you? What the hell's going on here? Alright, fine, I'll go inside this room. <laughs> Hello? Who's there? I swear to God, I will burn this building to the ground and don't show yourself. Slash me lifts flare up to flammable lights and fucking 
like ceiling fixtures starts the starts the process oh Joyce is right there she just tipped over this stuff and knocked over this and kind of made a mess of this whole place Joyce went what's your fucking problem ah yes where are you did you sink into the snow? Hurry up, I'm getting tired of waiting. Well, I, Joyce, I, 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 I've walked into your house. I'm here. I'm here right now. Uh, you, uh, it seems like you, like your, your, uh, Christmas room is just covered in garbage. Uh, covered in garbage and filth. Uh, you have like a mess. A mess? I just cleaned. Wait, I was standing at the door, and I didn't see you coming. You should have led with that. You really ought to have led with that. You really got... That seemed like the part you should have led with was, Hey, you're saying you're inside, and I, I was at the door, the only entrance, and you didn't come in. So have I just home invaded someone else? Dude, that's some psycho shit. In the middle of a blizzard, you break and enter into someone else's house because you think it's someone else's house? Damn, I'm fucked. Hey, Santa. It looks like you broke into the wrong house. Get out of there before you get... Oh, fuck. Dude, Choice. Please come out, dude. It's not funny. Okay, I'll just wait here until Joyce comes in and picks me up. I'll just wait here until Joyce comes in and picks me up. It's okay. I'll wait here. <laughs> Someone get mom! Someone get mom and the IRS kill squad's coming! The IRS kill squad is on their way! This was all a setup! I knew Joyce was an AI! I really wish I could light the tree on fire. Guys, it's okay. This might still be Joyce's house. It's still possible that this is all Joyce's house. I don't like that. Hang on. I officially have to do some filter changes for you guys. Uh, because we're not playing Vintage Story anymore. And now that's dark, you can see the scan lines of the fucking Elgato. Way too dark. No, this is what it looks like for me. <laughs> I'm making it what it looks like for me, motherfuckers. Okay. We know how this works. You all know how this works. And I don't want it to look green. There we go. That's better. There we go. Cool. What the fuck is Joyce keeping in her house? Joyce? Joyce? You better not be an AI. You, be you better not. I'm gonna be freaking pissed if you are. I swear to God, I will get so fucking mad. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to go down the freaking haunted hallway. Joyce, show yourself. Couldn't I just leave out the window? Can I just leave out the window? I see, I don't see any reason why I couldn't, and if I saw that down the hallway, I would kick the fucking door down. Or the window down. Yeah, I don't know who you are. Uh, sorry for breaking into your house. I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here. You told me that thing has a- yep, that's a lock on the inside. You're telling me the- you're telling me it locks on the outside. Whatever. 
All right, they got me on that one. That door can be easily kicked. Dude, maybe my guy doesn't want to... Did I not say I have a bad ankle and gout? I'm sorry, can you keep up with the cannon I've made so carefully? In this game? Check S. Okay, I covered this already. Try to keep up. I have to drink more water. Oh. All right. All right, Joyce. It's not fucking funny. Oh, well. Super TV is bugging out, but that's probably because of the... Probably just because of the, you know, the... Storm. I don't remember have I remember Joyce having so many holes in her walls, though. That's weird. Spaghetti. There is sp spaghetti. And delicious milk. And Rattlers. Rattlers. Delicious beer. This is uh, locked with a chain with no lock on it. Just a chain. They had to have this installed special and then welded. I have no idea who that is. I have no idea who that is. What is that? Someone reclining on a cow in a rice field? Jo Joyce, what is this picture? Is that a cow? It's some kind of like, it's some kind of bovine creature. It's a good picture though. I don't remember Joyce having these photos. I thought her parents looked different. Yo, Joyce! <laughs> I- I got- I got- I got blinders on real hard. Can't really tell what the fuck's going on. Really have no awareness of the world around me. I'm still convinced this might be your house. I do not know who these people are in these pictures. Where are you? Come on, be honest. <laughs> he still thinks it's her house. <laughs> got my blinders on hard right now, dude. Well, it's this. I think I've seen this postcard before. This is weird. I'm sorry, but I can't return from my trip before Christmas. Damn work. Please celebrate without me. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm starting to realize what's going on. I don't think Joyce is home yet, and her house has fallen into complete disrepair while she's been in the Alps. It all makes sense now. Someone's squatting in here while Joyce is actually at the Alps. Oh my god. Time dilation psychosis is real, chat. I don't know who that is. Joyce? Joyce. Joyce. That's festive. Why are the uh, tables underneath this flip? Everything will happen today. It will be our perfect holiday. He's coming soon, so I need to get ready. Dress, Christmas tree, Christmas decorations, fireworks. The ring, he cannot leave. He is already here. This isn't Joyce's handwriting. <laughs> Guys, I'm starting to think that perhaps Joyce is not here. I'm starting to think that perhaps- Wait a minute. Hold- Now hold- The halo ring. Dot dot dot. Cortana. Oh my god. Oh my god, you might be right. You think it's Cortana? Wait, but I'm not- But I'm not- My character's name is Mark. <laughs> my character's not Master Chief. His name's Mark. <laughs> Hang on, I'm not John Halo, I'm- I'm Mark. That's not right. 
Weird. I can't believe Joyce's house is. Honey, are you there? I don't like that. I'm gonna go ahead and close the door. Uh, um, ah, uh, ah, uh, she's t approaching really slowly. Ah, uh, I'm just gonna climb under here and wait for someone to come help me. Help! Dude, it's not locked. I didn't lock it. I didn't lock it. It was a, it was a pull. I you broke the hinge. You. No, you fucking don't. No, you fucking don't. Damn lady, you gotta trim your nails, man. What the fuck? You gotta take care of yourself. Maybe she just can't open doors like that. Who was that? I don't know who that was. That wasn't Joyce. That what? That's not freaking Joyce. Wait, am I being camped? Hang on, she's doubling back. That's not supposed to happen. Yo, she's drunk? It's like stumbling around. I feel like if I just run up and like kick them like square in the chest, they'll just fall over and knock it back up. I feel like I could probably get away from this demon pretty quick. She has back problems, but the gout. God damn it, my bad ankle and gout, you're right. God, if I was still, if I was still back in my, back in my college days. Okay, I'm being camped. Oh, nope, now she's kind of leaving. Nope, now she's doubling back. Is this like an effective horror monster where like she's smart enough to know I'm in this room and is just going to wait me out because she knows there's only one exit? Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and stand up and just like... Fucking idiot. See you later, all right? And that door is locked. She's coming this way! Give me that. Well, it looks like they're not very fast. I'm not dumb. My- no, 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 my guy is dumb. Doggy, doggy napping on sand. My guy is dumb. He'd do this. Dude, I think this might be the way to get to Joyce. She must be. It must be a sign. It must be. This is a, this is a sign. I don't know who that is. Damn, how much does this house fucking cost? There's so much land- There's so much space. All of this can be counted in the square footage of the house. I- Mark, stop scaring me. I know that you're here. I found the Christmas tree that you knocked over. And why did you take off its decorations? Do you even know how long it took me to decorate it? Joyce, there's some creepy shit going on. You... Joyce, I think we might be... I think I might have gotten caught up in some kind of IRS fucking kill squad move. They're getting in my head. I, I think they might have gassed my room or something. I'm going crazy. You gotta get out of there. I had you, I had, I, I had you labeled as a dependent under me. All right, if I go down, you go down. You don't understand. I did it without telling you. If I go down, you go down. <laughs> We're you? dealing with an IRS psyop, Joyce. You don't understand. You out of there. And you need to explain what's going on. 
You, uh, the corridor just got bigger. I do not understand what is going on. That's like the worst way to put Dude, if you just described this, what just happened to you as the corridor got bigger. Anyone on the other side of that line would be like, what the fuck is this idiot doing? He's so dumb. Like, this is like, that's, that's some of the craziest himbo, like, terminology. Corridor got bigger, babe. I don't know what else to say. It got big. He got into the French wine. Uh, you won't believe me, Joyce. I think I'm hallucinating. Are you a psyop? Mark, do you need help? I can... Wait. There's someone here. You told Joyce about hallucinations. She is worried. Yeah, I'd assume so. She hung up on me. Hey, you know, it would be kind of interesting if my character would call 911, you know, on account of the fact that he evidently has perfect service. <laughs> I think this is going to really mess up my proposal to my girlfriend. The IRS got her. Oh. This is, this is an old house and all the all the fucking like drywall is broken like all the walls are broken over there's probably asbestos in all of it kind of just like stinking up the whole place well at least we know this tv has full color range uh by the looks of it. it looks like this thing pretty much has like every color necessary that's good that's good to know I might take this if if we get out if I can get a straight clear line of sight from here to the exit I'll grab this and leave with it. I can tell you that for sure because my TV is starting to miss some of the yellows and stuff. It's starting to burn out. Snow globe. It could fit in one of the notches of that strange door. I need to find three such globes. I have no idea who that is. I, I I truly do not. Sweetie, where are you? She's got the wrong guy. <laughs> She's got the wrong guy. Let's celebrate together. Go away. They're just drunk. I don't know that person. My headcanon is that truly that is not my crazy ex-girlfriend. I really do not know who that is. <laughs> uh, the only reason I'm hiding is specifically because I do not want to get in trouble for breaking into her house and kind of trashing the place. I just don't want to get in trouble for that. So I'm just trying to sneak my way out. I am a psyop. Oh, fuck. God, I'm glad that they're drunk. <laughs> God damn. They're dead. They're blind as a vet, dude. What the fuck? There is a glass window. She can see me. Ah, uh, fucking idiot. It went around the corner. Activate lean. Help! Frick! Try to signal to them. They're so drunk. I almost, I'd almost feel bad. I'd almost feel bad if I didn't feel like they were gonna kill me if they grabbed me. Well, I plugged in a globe.
They seem to not really want to patrol. They're more of like walking the most specific route ever. So it's like I have to wait for a window for them to turn the corner so that I can sneak around the corner before she catches me. She has a routine, a very, very tight routine. Go, go, go. It threaded the needle fucking instantly, dude. Oh, fuck me, man. Oh, wait. Honey, She's dumb. Don't make me hurt you. Lady, I do not know how else to say that, like, despite the fact that I have bad ankles and gout, I swear to God I would just tip one of these fucking shelves on you and kill you in an instant if it came down to it. In an instant. In an instant. On sight. On sight. You step in here. On sight. Bop. But your ankle don't need an ankle to tip over a thing. Oh, can I like turn off the light? That's the opposite. I need to follow the audio of like the Christmas song. Oh, I had to basically follow this girl. Simple as it. And she goes by. I slip on by like it's fucking nothing. Her shadow is bald. Yeah. <clears throat> Activate stealth mode. Ah, oh, this way. Got it, dude. Huh? Ain't no fucking way. <laughs> Ain't no way she heard me, like, remove it. We can decorate the tree. That tree's a piece of shit, and I don't want to decorate it. Plus, I'm allergic to pine, which you fucking know. Or at least you would, if I knew you. And I know the IRS knows that. I'm telling you, IRS, sigh up. Huge fuck up leaving this hallway. Huh? Holy shit, she's fucking absolutely blasted. I cannot, I cannot get away with stuff like that. You can't let me. Dumb? Is <laughs> she dumb? This is this is pathetic. <laughs> this is pathetic. Hang on, difficulty settings. <clears throat> Camera settings. Maybe I need to make this game harder for myself. Maybe I invert the view. No. Ogren brain. Mean. Stop. Go away. Like, here's the thing, it's like, yeah, those claws are kind of, like, intimidating, but the thing is, as a result of those claws, they can't catch anything or really, like, protect their face if you huck something at them really hard. Like, their, their, their ability to interface with, like, doorknobs and stuff has also been immediately, like, fucked up. Like, you could easily, I would just, like, huck something at them. Like, huck that, va like, that plant. Throw it at them really fucking hard. Like, right at their fucking face, and that would be the end of that. The second they loop back this way, I'm gonna follow them out, and I'm gonna- I'm gonna peel down the other hallway. I wonder if I have, like, a distinct smell, and that's why they keep cycling back over here. Alright, it's time. Dumbass. <laughs> Bozo. If 
Fucking absolute moron. What do we got in here anyways? Toilet paper. Okay, I tried as hard as I could. I'm in. Bolt cutters. It looks powerful. I think it could. Dude, you could use these to dispatch her. These look, bolt cutters are fucking heavy. That's a weapon. That is a weapon. Well, at least I know she can't get in here until it's on my terms on account of the fact that I've that it's bolted and chained from the inside. <clears throat> Kill mode activated. You think she's camping the door? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Do something. Oh. Oh. Okay, here's what you do. In this scenario, here's exactly what you do. She turns around to walk away, grab her ankle and trip her to the ground, and then get out from underneath the table and tip the table on her and then run away. Why are you hiding? That's like the easiest thing you can do in a fucking- Easily, easily, so easy. We are made for each other. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and, like... We must be together. Yeah. Okay. Um, how far can I get with this? Oh. Eee! Kinda weird, lady. Kinda weird. Chat, what if she catches me and she's like, wait, I don't know you. <laughs> wait, I I'm looking, you're not Paul. I'm, I'm looking for Paul. I'm the, I'm the crazy demon ex-girlfriend of Paul. You're, I think you, you are supposed to be in the house next door. I'm so sorry. This is really, this is so embarrassing. The exit's over there. Dude, there's no place to hide in here. Oh. We got it! She's really not here. Oh, dropped the ball hard on that one. And Paul accidentally broke into Joyce's house. Yeah, Paul thinks he's in a horror game. And Joyce is like hiding underneath the table as Paul's like, "What's the fucking key?" And he's like checking around, like rampaging through the place. She's like screaming. It's just two different dynamics, is all. All right, I solved it. Let's get the heck out of this place. Activate. Okay. Well, what's the fucking point of the flare if it doesn't even work? All right. What's the point of the goddamn thing? I mean, the production value on this thing. I mean, Paul would be having a good time here if he was the one that was here. But obviously, I'm the one that's here, and I'm really not. Like, the production value. The demon put a lot of work into this. We can give him that. These toys are from the Christmas tree at Joyce's house. That crazy woman said something about decorating a tree. If I do this, then maybe she'll get distracted. I'll be able to sneak further. Fucking flips over entire box of toys. Spills it all over the void. Oh, oh. This is a pretty, yeah, it's a little bit of a leap in logic that me doing exactly <laughs> That doing that will actually help me, but dude, whatever floats your fucking boat Who is that guy? Oh my god, that must be Paul He looks like a kind of guy that would like remove all the decorations from a Christmas tree All right. 
God, they they're acting like <laughs> they're acting like a cat doesn't know how doors work. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Like, what was that? That that's just like my cat when they're like at the door. That's like cracked, and they're like, I don't fucking know how to move it. I don't know how to move that. Help. They lock themselves in. How did that close? Air pressure shift. The doy. Air pressure shift. All right, here I go. I'm gonna decorate the tree. That must have taken me hours to do that. Mark, I think I'm hallucinating too. I th I saw someone at the window and. She... Uh, I'm just seeing things. Yeah. I'm just seeing- So you think that because I said I'm hallucinating, suddenly you must be too? That's kind of fucking bullshit. Okay, really take away from what's going on with me over here in hell by saying that you- Of course- Yeah, you must be having the exact same fucking situation. I'll tell you what's happening, Joyce. There's a guy named Paul in your house right now. There's a guy named Paul in your fucking house. And- uh, and they're trying to solve a horror game right now, and you need to set out the various items he needs to do that, or he's gonna start getting rambunctious. Okay? Thanks. Joyce, you need to leave now. Okay, well that's- she's gonna get killed. That blizzard out there is insane. Uh, that blizzard's gonna kill her. Uh, hide somewhere and call the police. I'm gonna actually say something smart for once. I need to understand what's going on here. Please tell me what's going on with you. Don't worry, just hide somewhere. This girl's dumb as a- dumber than a sack of bricks. She doesn't know how to check under any tables if there's someone underneath them. She has a fucking line of- she has a range of sight of about two feet. Like, just stay under something. Really, you could just like, get on the bed and hide under the covers, you'd probably be okay. Everything feels like a dream, the house is can't changing, some crazy woman is looking for me. You saw a woman, right? But if it's true... I saw a woman! You said I need to hide. I'll do There's that. There's only three then. women on the planet. <laughs> what are the odds that we would see another one? Stuff's looking pretty bad for us right now, Chad. I don't know what to say. Maybe we should climb out the frickin' chimney. Doggy! Chicken! Alright, I've decorated the tree. I'm gonna get the frick out of here now. Can I just go? Hey. Am I allowed to leave now? You gotta give some credit to that fucking dress for holding it together through all this shit, dude. All right, I'm gonna be honest. Like that, la ladies, that's a high quality dress. You gotta give it some credit, right? I have nowhere to. Honey. Oh. It's beautiful. She must be using a lot of tape. Don't you go think? Anywhere. I will be right back. Yeah, you got it. Can you dude, imagine you fucking surprise your partner with like a beautiful Christmas tree? They say, "Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back." And then they crumple down to the ground and crawl into the nearest air vent. <laughs> like just goes like, "Don't worry, babe. I'll be right back." <laughs> and they just like scamper up. Would you still hang out with them? Would you still would you still like want to keep that relationship going right on? Ah, uh, yes, the amount, the amount of times that I've been, uh, you know, really just, like, hanging out with anyone, like, really anyone, anyone, it doesn't need to be a partner, just anyone, I do something that surprises them, they say, don't do anything, I'll be right back, I gotta do something quick, and then they just kind of walk straight up a wall onto the ceiling and then crawl right up the chimney. Happens more than you'd think. Fuck. 
look, that was really the only plan I had. The only plan I had was front door again. You think the spaghetti's still on the table? Yeah, this is gonna definitely get us the frick out of there. Yeah, hell yeah, let's go into the basement. They locked me in. This poor pan has been treated so poor. So, dude, just clean it. This is like a good, decent, freaking pan. And they're just not even taking care of it. It's a damn shame. You clean it. Not my fucking job. Not my pan. Oh my god, they blew her up! <laughs> I told her she shouldn't have gotten those fucking fireworks! I fucking told her! I told her every day! Every day I said, are you sure you wanna get fucking middle of the blizzard fireworks? And she was like, yeah, it'll be fucking fun. Uh, it, it sounded like a creeper broke into the house and just exploded. Babe? Babe? She... Oh, she blew her up. Okay. Mark, these aren't hallucinations. She isn't human. Okay. I'm fine. I was hiding just like he said. I had time to prepare before she found me. That's cool. I, uh... I launched fireworks at her. How the fuck? Dude, that shit makes sense in, like, a goddamn, like, video game or, m like, movie only. But the idea of, in real life... Picking up a goddamn firework and pointing it at someone and lighting it. Dude, <laughs> she should be dead. That's some Looney Tunes shit. I don't it seems she likes her off. Try to find something similar. Maybe that'll help you. Did you just give me the goddamn advice of find a bomb to dispatch the demon? Because, like, you might as well have said nothing. Yeah, no shit. Do you know her? How did she know I was coming to you? My guy is a bless this bless this boy, dude. Bless this boy. Blinders are on fucking hard, dude. Can't see anything around him. Literally can't use his head for even one fucking second. Do you know this girl? <laughs> Man, babe. Oh, babe, do you know do you know this fucking girl? Do you know this fucking psychopath? Babe, cuz like I don't fucking know who this is and it's kind of pissing me off that you that you would let this person ruin our holidays, babe. Babe, do you know this person? Babe? Babe, do you know who this person is? I don't know who it is. Babe. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, this guy's actually dumb as a sack of fucking bricks. He's had like, he doesn't know where he is. He's so dumb. Okay, uh, do you know her? I have no idea who or what she is. Do you think she was following us? Maybe she's some weirdo from the fucking Alps, babe. Babe, I told you she shouldn't have gone to the fucking Alps. They're weird. Mark, so where's your ruining Christmas? What should I do? Uh, I'll find a flashlight and more fireworks and try to drive her away with with bright light. <laughs> uh, just keep hiding and try not to make any noise. Okay, I'll find some place to hide. I'll try to call the police, but I don't think they'll arrive here fast enough in this weather. One more thing, please be safe. Yeah, you got it. I mean, I'm doing pretty good. She crawled into like a vent for me. I'll be all right. 
You're the one in danger. It sounds like she wants to kill you, idiot. <laughs> Alright, get on. Hello? Oh my god, that barrel just fucking rolled right over there. Oh my god. Did you guys fucking see that? <laughs> oh. Hello? 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 Huh? What? 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 Huh? Yeah, yeah. I'm just not really clocking this one. I don't think. I don't think I'm gonna clock that. Moving on. The demon got exploded by fireworks. We know this. What was that sound? Did you guys hear that? I heard another sound. But that doesn't make... I'll just crawl. Yeah, we'll just crawl. Guys. <laughs> What a fucking weird girl, you know, like I even I wouldn't crawl to it Like I've done my fair share of like being like hey I'll be right back and then crawling into like a box or something and just kind of sitting in there and making scary noises and shit Or like a crawl space. I'd never do it in a fucking vent though <clears throat> Never do that. I'd never crap walk into a vent Ever Not once Wow, there's a lot. This, I mean, the basement has some fucking crazy ventilation, though. You gotta give it some credit. Okay, I'm not. I'm not really going to change any part of my plan for that. I wonder if she can see me in the dark. I don't know if she can. <clears throat> okay, uh, who the heck is this? I, uh... Huh? Wait a... Wait a minute. I don't... But I don't... But I don't really understand. She's just hanging meat or something on the, uh... On the ceiling, I think. I'm gonna try to get service and call the police. <laughs> I'm not really clocking now. <laughs> What's going on, dude? What the fuck? Dude, they make blinders for humans, it turns out. Isn't that- I could honestly probably use those in real life. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> I never, like, went... Dude, I don't fucking care. Like, to be clear, though, as, like, a player, I... Oh, oh hang on. Wait. There was, there was a writing on the, on the table. There's, like, actually something there. We regret to inform you that your vision is deteriorating. The examination showed that you suffer from light hypersensitivity. I recommend that you avoid daylight as well as any bright light sources. My ex-girlfriend didn't like sunny weather either, but it was the least of her problems. 
Holy fucking shit, my guy. My fucking <laughs> Dude, please, God. <laughs> this fucking guy literally doesn't he, he truly is dumber than dirt, dude. Please. Man, I need you, I need you to fucking be able to like understand that like what's happening. Yeah, my girlfriend, my ex did not like that shit either. Anyways, uh I guess he won't clock it yet. I guess I guess we're missing this for another second, chat. At least one more fucking second. We're going to we're going <laughs> to we're going to whiff it. Let's go. I need to get to the front door. Or that door over there, I think. So like know what I need to do. Truly dumb. Huh? I'm not there. It's just two people that are the dumbest, blindest pieces of shit in their own specific ways. She has physical blindness. I just have, like, a kind of mental blindness. I'm duking it out. Just duking it out out here. I'm not entirely sure. Like, I went down the hall... It seems like there's two power lines I need to connect, but she's actively camping one of them so hard that I don't really know what I'm to do about that. If all the line. Oh, I missed the giant red box. <laughs> okay, well. Huh? Huh? <coughs> What are all these pills doing on the ground? What's all that about? Weird. Holy shit. <clears throat> Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. What's this? He said that he went to his friends. Liar. I need to call his mother. Is it Anna? She must be one of his co-workers. Is he dating a secretary? Violet? He must be dating someone who's trying to take him away. Natalie? Helen? She was obsessed with someone. Whoever he is. I hope he's alright now. This this fucking guy ain't no way he hasn't clocked this. All right, no more blinder bit. This guy's making it too. He's making it too easy now. Now it feels like it's deliberate. No, we're done with it. They're making it too easy. Huh? What? Huh? This girl must really like, uh, like making stars. This girl must really like bones or something. Weird. That's a weird hobby to have. But I'm not one to- What? No fucking way you don't clock this. No fucking way. Holy shit, no fucking way. Huh? Huh? Uh -huh. Huh? 
See you later, jackass. Thought I'd give her a chance to have, like, an audio detection moment. What? You guys think she's gonna figure this one out? She finally figured it out. The blinders are off. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> ah! She's not very fast. Oh my God, she's really slow. Out moment. <laughs> oh, wait. It didn't matter. This is still locked. Help. Help. I think I'm just ever so slightly faster than her. Give me this. Who? Ow! Oh, I have to do a QTE! Stop. Uh, this key will help me open that decorated door. Are you fucking sure? Who was that? Who was the strangle arm guy? Oh well. We'll probably never know. Now that I know I can outrun her, though, in a straightaway, that's pretty fun. I wonder if I can just really bully her. We made it, chat. We solved the mystery. Is that a big old box of fireworks? Are you fucking kidding me? Is this, like, Santa, like, sending me spirit messages and items to, like, punch down at this Christmas devil? Yippee! Fireworks. Hey, Joyce, this is enough to blow up your fucking house. Are you fucking kidding me? This is everything you got? Holy. Joyce, that's dynamite. That one in the middle just says fucking dynamite. What were you planning? A whole box of fireworks. If she really is afraid of bright light, they will definitely come in handy. Maybe I can set a trap for her. I just need to find something that can distract her. Where did she hide my ring? Huh. Where? Hello? Mark, are you there? Are Joyce, you okay? why do you own fire? Why did you buy fireworks? Like, like dynamite. That's not fireworks. I'm fine, how are you? <laughs> Mark, are you okay? That psycho, she just, she's still after me. Are you okay, are you okay, honey? I'm okay, how are you? I'm, I'm doing good. How was your day? I hid in an old closet in the attic. I heard her while she was walking near me. She was muttering your name. Huh? What about you? Oh, we'll skip over that. Any news? Preferably good we'll news. skip that. We'll skip that. We'll skip that. We'll skip that. Bad news, babe. 
She stole my present for you. Why does she need it? This doesn't make any sense. There's no time to think about it right Babe, now. Babe, bad news. I the police. She snatched my gift for you. you. That must have been the plan. I gave them my address. All I gotta say, babe, is that Find that gift was pretty expensive. Okay, maybe that's what this is all about. You know what I mean? Maybe, babe, babe, maybe, maybe that's what this is all about. You know, this was a, it was a pretty expensive gift. Maybe she, uh, maybe she was after it for that exact reason. You know, I'm starting to think maybe I've been hearing here. I've been hearing stories about some kind of like robbery ring. Might have been all about petty theft. Where? How do I get out of here? Where the f fuck do I go? I'm hearing Christmas jingles. I see like the boarded up hole. I think I need like a hammer. Oh wow, a holiday crowbar. It's heavy. I don't think it could stop her. I need something more powerful than that. On the other hand, it will help. Yeah, we don't. We really want to make sure that one. Like, I. I mean, honestly, frankly, dude, I do think that hitting her in the head with a crowbar would probably stop her. Uh, but if you really want to mangle the corpse to the point of being unrecognizable when the cops get here, I mean, that's on you. I guess. I guess we can just like do that, too. He wants to make sure that this girl is obliterated. Huh? Yo, are you da are you under there? How did you do that? There's no space. Literally just a cat. Whatever. Golly, I sure freaking hope nothing happens when I pull off this last one. Yo, that would freaking piss me off. How fucking squeezed can my guy get? This is not a big dumbwaiter. He's only a head with legs. He's like a Mr. Potato Head looking piece of shit. My brother in Christ, you have a bolt cutter. That is thinner than a fucking bolt. Okay? That's thinner. You can just crack that. You have a crowbar. You have a crowbar too. You have two things. No, sorry, dude. No way. I need to open that the right way. Oh, fuck. Babe, I knew it was a psyop all along! Okay. Uh. Hey, Joyce, I just need to be honest, though. Like, remember, fireworks are not legal in this state, and I'm starting to think that it might not be hey, good to get there. there. We might not want to get their attention, because you, you bought dynamite. You bought, Joyce, you bought dynamite. Joyce, you bought dynamite. You bought dynamite. I see the light in a nearby house. Is that you? Are you on the second floor? Oh, uh, yeah, kind of. I don't think they've noticed you. You need to find another window that's more visible so the police can see you. Okay. You got it. I'll, I'll let, next one, I'll just light the dynamite. I'll light the dynamite and throw that out the window. We'll catch their attention somehow. I know it.
Okay, here I go. God. Did you see that? Yeah, Joyce, I don't think there's I don't think they can hear I don't think they're looking at the window. Yeah, I'm not getting anything. Do you see them? Joyce? 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 Are you catching this? Do you see do you at least see it? Because I think the cops might have oh boy. Do you see that? I think they're parked. <laughs> Stop, lol. <laughs> Pull yourself together. Panicking won't help you now. Dude, don't say it like that. Pull yourself together. Panicking won't help you now. We're all gonna die. <laughs> That's a psycho lie. That's insane. Get your shit together, Joyce. Joyce, we'll be okay. We can do this. No, you're right. We can't give up. I, I, I heard her mumbling something. I, I don't know if this helps, but she said something about the gift she finally got. And one more thing. I, I saw that she... Through one of the cops through the window of your building. Oh shit, that's, that's a cop? <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that was some guy. I thought it was like a Santa themed like Christmas decoration. Like, haha, this house doesn't have a chimney. He went through the window thing. Weird. Right, I'm gonna get a gun. Alright, go fuck yourself, devs. That's a big fuck you on that one. These are my old postcards. I started sending them to my ex-girlfriend when I couldn't talk to her anymore. So that was her? Holy fucking shit. My guy, you have got to wake the fuck up. Holy, she finally got there. We can finally delete the pictures. Guys, he made it. It took all day, but he fucking got there. We, ladies and gentlemen, we got there. It's pointed right at the window of my house. Mark, how are you? I found a telescope. It's point. It's directed towards my house. Telescope? What do you mean? Some G-Mart fucking move. <laughs> she was spying on us. She was spying on me. Both of those are true. Wait, what? Both of those are technically true. Because that one, she was literally like looking for the name of like his partner. Like that. That both of them are true technically. She was spying on me. I thought so. All this time, she was interested in you, not me. No, she's you trying to kill you. To her in some way. Mark, tell me, do you know this woman? No, I've never, I've never fucking seen her before in my life. <laughs> no, let's just. I'm not sure. <laughs> we Why used a date. Why didn't you say this before? I truly need to be so honest. I really did not clock it until right. I didn't realize it was her until I found evidence. You dated before us? Uh, okay. She was, uh, she was harassing my parents and friends, so I left. You really don't want to lead with, she was mentally unwell, so I immediately left her the second I found out. 
That, you real that one that one's a fucking landmine. You do not step on that one, dude. You gotta avoid that one. <laughs> Yeah, she, she started having a bad time, so I fucking left her ass immediately and threw her out on the fucking street. I never talked to her again. I sent her postcards and then quietly and slowly, like, just removed her from my life. I basically socially exiled her. She was harassing my parents and friends. Oh my god, this is terrible. So that's why you moved here from your city. She became she inconvenient, so I fucking bailed. Uh, let's see, uh, I never noticed anything like that. Maybe I tried not to notice. Uh, last year her health began to deteriorate and then some strange things began to appear. My guy can't say that one because we both know he didn't really clock it and this is like the devs just like fucking making shit up. My guy didn't fucking clock anything. So no, he didn't notice. He didn't notice fucking shit. So this monster wants you back. Thank you for telling me. But I have to break up with you. Okay, bye. I gotta break- you've become officially inconvenient. You've ruined Christmas. Goodbye. It's over. It could unlock the door to the corridor. I hope it will lead me to the gun. <gasps> oh! Oh my god! Am I freaking good? It's that character from Mortal Kombat. Holy shit. Dude, at any moment, Scorpion could run in and punch a hole right through her chest, and I'm fucking ready. I'm ready. I will not lose hope. You cheated on me. How is she better than me? She speaks in one octave, which is like really cool and doesn't stress me out. You've been, honestly, even before you were possessed by a demon, you talked in like fucking four octaves at the same time and it was just weird. It like really fucked with my ears. Also, you have the maw of like a fucking alligator, which like just really just, it, it, it's just hard to look at. That, that's it's a really it's a really specific and shallow thing I know, but it's just like it's just what I'm about, you know. I'm not a good person. Also, you were blind. I'm just like I'm revealing now that Mark is just a very shallow bad guy, which makes sense. She was blind, so I dumped her. I just didn't really... And she had those horrifying claws. <laughs> this is what Mark just reveals the entire time. She had all these features. These were all her normal features. <laughs> yeah, I broke up with her because she started acting crazy and like being really mean to my friends. And she had these like gigantic, horrifying, like foot-long claws. This gaping maw. And like... Like she talked in like five different octaves all at the same time. She kind of stumbled around everywhere. She was mostly blind. Uh, she couldn't go out into the sun or she started screaming like a fucking ghoul, like ah! The second she walked down in the sun, it's like really, honestly, frankly, I just broke up with her because like one time I wanted to go out and do something like uh, during the day and we walked outside she went, ah! and I, it, she embarrassed me. So I broke up with her, I fucking dumped her ass. I can't even climb through that. Do something. Are you gonna move? I need a gun. Maybe I missed it. Maybe I missed the item I need. Cause she's like blocking that, I'm not gonna be able to... 
Not gonna be able to do much about that. She's just gonna turn around and kill me. And to die in this game is really fucking embarrassing considering how the AI's been going so far. Oh, did I miss this? Oh, I missed this. I won't be back. You can stop stalking my family now. Please don't hurt them. They don't know where I am. I didn't tell them where I moved. I know that your illness is causing your behavior, but I can no longer put up with it. You have refused to seek treatment for too long, and you can't control your psychosis now. I love you, but I'm too tired of being afraid for my family. I'm sorry. He loves me! Well, that's a good way to pull. That's a really positive way to pull. Pull that. He loves me! Posy vibes only, bro. <laughs> Hey, move. Ah! 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 Ow! She bit my, like, ear! She was just bugged. I hope that fixed him. Why did he touch her? She wouldn't move, dude! I guess there's something else I need. Maybe I find the gun that I shoot her in the back of the head. Like, execution style. I either miss something or there's a window I need to climb out of near her. Because that window up above in that room, I can't interact with. It won't let me. But I'm locked. In. So there's gotta be something here. There's gotta be. I didn't clock her in the back of the head with this fucking nutcracker. Not nah, Chad, every time there's been something meaningful in the drawers. Oh, I have to. You tell me I really couldn't reach it? No fucking way is my guy about to do this. This might be the fucking silliest shit I've ever seen. There's no fucking way he's gonna crawl over her. Also, he's gotta be the shortest motherfucker. Thank God she's mostly blind like a mole. For me. You don't love me anymore. I'm not giving it back. It's mine now. What the fuck? But I spent so much freaking money on it. She's really dumb. Holy shit. Really, really dumb. Dumber than dirt. So it seems like what I'm supposed to do here is not step on any of this stuff or I will have to be chased. But I've confirmed I'm faster than her in a leg race. So I'm just gonna... You have no idea how fucking powerful I am, you stupid, stupid girl. You stupid, stupid idiot girl. You have no idea. So that's the gun right here, huh? Yes, sir. Now I know a thing or two about firearms, all right? How are you? What's going on? I, I sealed the uh, ex-girlfriend inside of a uh, set piece. Uh, that she can't escape. She's actually trapped in there now. I actually- I- I sent her into like a parallel pocket dimension. And I have a gun now. I found a gun. I feel better. It's I feel better, brother. <laughs> be careful. If you decide to shoot, it will be loud. Be prepared that she will hear and will come for you. Holy shit, do you think I'm an infant? Y'all? Y'all? No! <laughs> no, I do not have a minute! Actually, I, I do. I do. She's sealed in. What is it? What's up? Can you tell me what was in your gift? I know it's it's silly, but I No. What I what? Sure that it is what I think it is. It was uh it was uh I got you a Funko Pop of Iron Man actually. Was what was in it? It was a Funko Pop of Iron Man. I know you really liked 
It was, I know you really like that. You really like that guy. So I got you it. Look, it was a it was a rune choice. I wanted to propose to you. Oh, Mark, I thank you. When I see you after all this, I'll give you the answer. So Hey, do you think that your 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 the trajectory of your answer is gonna matter if you hear me actually shoot my ex girlfriend and then like she just starts screaming if I like like is are, is this gonna fucking impact it if I uh if like bang and then she just goes ah! and it's like no I, like like she's gonna hear this she's gonna hear me take the life of my ex <laughs> like I don't know. No matter the context, I do not think it's like a good decision or idea. Are you fucking sure? Okay. Oh! Oh! The dynamite! No fucking way. That was very small dynamite. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Now I have a chance. I start Naruto running. My girlfriend sees it from the window. She starts immediately reconsidering the idea of being married to me. <laughs> I'm getting the heck out of here! Joyce, it makes me go faster. It makes me go faster, Joyce. Santa? The ring. That's a huge ring. Does Joyce have like gorilla hands? That's a gigantic ring. That's huge. That's gigantic. <laughs> you just didn't know the size? <laughs> Jack, stop! Stop! Hello? Mark, I heard gunshots. Are you okay? I'm fine. I think I just figured out a way to stop her. You mean shooting her? You know how to stop her? Yeah, I'm, sh I'm gonna Tell kill me. her. I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna sh All right, so Joyce, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to use the bullets in my gun to just kind of shoot her in the head until she's dead. I have my gift for you, I'll use it as bait. I think you wanna say the ambush one and not the, I'm gonna use our, our like gift as Good. bait. No, she stole my Christmas decorations for a reason. It looks like she's obsessed with spending Christmas with you. Maybe if you put a present by the Christmas tree, it will distract her. Yeah, maybe. Just don't forget to put the fireworks everywhere first. Oh my god, Joyce. Yeah, I fucking got it. Please, be careful. Are you gonna be this micromanagey, like, if we're married? Because, like, that's actually, like, I I'm starting to get some second thoughts, because it just seems like you don't even really let me think on my own. You kind of just don't think I can do stuff. That's a red flag. I, I don't know what else to say. This man is literally blind. The blinders got taken off. I took the blinders off. What do you mean? All right. The present is down. Chose me. What the fuck is this? Is that a gigantic red button to activate the fireworks? <laughs> Damn. 
When the game's name was Crimson Snow, I thought that was just like a like a little bit of blood. I it really is like we are going to paint the goddamn entire neighborhood in blood. Like this is going to this is there must be a dude, they're everywhere. There's fireworks everywhere. I can see them. All right. Thank you. Yeah, open it. Honey, I'm waiting for you. Hey, I'll see you later, all right? Where the hell you at? Why aren't you coming out already? Oh, I she needs to get in the light first like an idiot. But hang on, why is it not working? My bullets are making silly sounds. Oh, I see. Man, she's really bad at this. Good thing I have infinite ammo on top of it. My dynamite! Why? Now what am I gonna freaking do? Thank God I had time to decorate the entire house for this. This is a little bit close. I don't think the amount of bullets I shoot really matters. Okay, chill out, lady. Chill the fuck out. Come on, what's your deal anyways? All right. I'm glad I'm faster. I'm looking for another big old box of dynamite. There's one. <clears throat> Where's she coming from? Ah. You could tell that was a powerful bullet. She was really just a bad monster, huh? Damn. I, at least I got the present back. Pathetic. Hello? The doors are open, Mark. The doors are open. You did it. My God, Mark. I love you so much. Come to my house. You won't get lost this time. I guarantee it. Actually, Joyce, I was thinking of going to the hospital, actually, like, first. I think I think we should go to the fucking hospital. Uh, no. Uh, how about you and I meet by this, like, police car and we call the cops again because two police are dead. Uh... I don't trust it. I'm watching you. If you're gonna tell me my guy doesn't know where his girlfriend lives, I'm gonna fucking alt F4 the game right now. I thought it would be like the house next door. You're telling me this was a down the street, like road, like actually like multiple blocks away? Holy fucking shit, dude. No fucking way. No fucking way, dude. He was, he was just like, oh, light. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. The light. I'll fo I follow. Ooh, woo. Oh, three, oh. Kind of glad these guys fucking died. <laughs> Joyce, chill! Holy shit! About that rain. Mark, about that ring, and then we just hear a fucking. Oh, 
Jet. And then we hear in the background a bunch of fireworks explode in close proximity to Joy's fucking exploding her house. We won. We won. If she said no, I would have Omega Lult. Apparently, there's multiple endings if you beef it. Like you, if you uh, fuck up the uh, the dialogue, you can. She'll just be like, "I fucking hate you," which sounds about right. I dropped something. That wasn't that bad. Oh, it was funny. It was hardly a. This monster. This might have been the most pathetic horror monster I've ever played against in my whole life. Though. Uh, that was basically a non-existent monster. She basically couldn't do anything. The only time she got me was when I was confused as to what I was supposed to do. Why do I feel like this is going to give me dmc 8 somehow? Why do I feel like this song is going to get me owned? She was drunk, Tomato. It was a tad long. Yeah, I could have gone with it being a little bit shorter because I would have had time to do chicken game, and now I really don't. Now I really don't, man. Now there will be- now we'll have to save chicken game for another time. Again. Because I have D&D in 15 minutes, and I'm not going to try to squeeze chicken game into that. It deserves more than that. Can we see all the blinders? You guys aren't ready for the fucking other blinders, dude. You're just not. <laughs> There's... There is... You just don't get it. There's so many. This was, uh... <laughs> I wish I had... I wish it was easier for me to just, like, drag these things onto the stream. But, yeah, I could've... God, there was a lot of them. They're horse, God, horses are so fucking stupid that they need these fucking big old socks on their heads in order to protect themselves from panicking. Imagine. Imagine, dude. Imagine. Fucking big ass. Look, dude, look at this. Look at this, look at this fucking bozo. Looks like a giant fucking fly. Hang on. Look at, look at this fly looking ass. <laughs> buzz buzz, man. <laughs> that one I would believe is actually made to protect them from bugs. Okay. That one, I believe it. If you told me that was made to just protect them from bugs, okay. That makes sense. That one adds up. That adds, that that one adds up. That one I would I would buy it. But like some of the other ones I've seen, I'm not so sure, man. I'm not so sure. Some of the, I'm going to just scroll down like hard and see what we get out of like the deep Google search. Fuck, there was one I saw a long time ago that I thought that was like truly like the funniest looking shit. And it had to be a joke, but I, I've never seen it since. It was the funniest fucking picture. It was like truly a full body horse blinder. For the horse, like, it was just the whole thing. Not just, like, their whole head. It was the entire body on top of it. Just Google fly sheet. No, nah, this was, like, different than that. It was not the same. <laughs> Look at these fucking fools. Look at these, look at, look at this fucking guy, though, dude, hang on. Look at, look at this fucking guy. Look at this, look at this guy. Nerd! Dork! But yeah, that was a fun game. I, I enjoyed myself, Chad. I hope all of you did as well. 
Look in stream talk. That sounds sinister. That sounds sinister. Ander, ignore the four. Thanks for the 20 gifted subs. I did not ignore it. I'll have you know. I didn't. I fucking didn't do it. Thanks for the fucking gifted subs. The 20 gifted fucking subs. Let me take a look at this fucking thing. That's, yeah, that's so important that I have to check it. <laughs> yeah, this was the one, this is like one of the ones I was looking for. was just like this fucking shit. Fucking full blinders engaged, dude. Full sensory deprivation, dude. Damn. All right, chat. That's it, though. That's it. I will see you all on Monday. Have a nice holidays. I will be sending you on over to Joe. Uh, I'm doing D&D &D in 10 minutes. Gonna send you on over to Joe. Uh, I won't be back till Monday. So I'll see you all then. Thanks for coming on by. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I really hope you did. I will see you all after the holidays. Have a wonderful weekend. Goodbye.